Okay, let's find the volume generated when we um, um, spill this area, all this, around x equals 3. Uh, we're going to do it by two different methods. The first is going to be the shell method. Okay, how is this? We get a radius from my axis when I'm uh, turning the, the, the area and I move here, this is a radius. So this is because I try to generate a cylinder here. Okay, something like this. Okay, something like this. And always I have a radius over here. So now, let me, let me erase all this stuff. So now, I'm going to make this radius. And with the shell method, we need to use this formula. This is volume equals the integral from this x, x equals negative 2, to this x, x equals 3. So these are my limits. Negative 2, this is 3. But because we're talking about the cylinder and we're talking about the circumference, the circumference is 2 pi r times the height times the thickness. In this case, is dx. So the hard part here is determine what is r and what is h. So at any at any moment, like in this moment, the distance to here to this this specific point is my total distance that is three, and subtract what I come back. But in this case, I'm a little be behind the y-axis, so this this is gonna be negative. So this this three minus a negative distance like this. Is going to be less than uh, more than three, so at any moment I need to get this three and subtract whatever whatever x I have. In this case, this x is negative, but in this in this case, this x is positive. So this is three minus this distance. At this moment, for example, is this three minus this negative distance. So it's going to give me a little more than 3. So the volume is 2 pi. I'm going to get out the integral. So this is from negative 2 to 3. So the r, my r is 3 minus any x I have. OK, let me erase this to explain what the h is. At any moment, in this case, I have this h. And this h is always this function minus this other function. And I'm going to get only this part. At any point, I'm going to get only this little part. So my h is my, in this case, my gh, my, my gx minus my fx dx. So now I'm going to copy this part and I'm going to bring to the next page remembering that these are my fx and my gx. So what I have now is the volume is this 2 pi times the integral from negative 2 to 3 3 minus x which, are, which is the, the radius and gx, which is x, minus fx, in this case is x squared minus 6. I'm close to the parenthesis, dx. So I just going to simplify a little. This is 2 pi times negative 2 to 3. No, no, not times, it's from negative 2 to 3. 3 minus x. And this is, look. This is x minus x squared 
plus 6 dx. So now I'm going to bring my calculator to evaluate this expression. Okay, this is my calculator. So my expression is going to be all this stuff. So what I'm going to do is calculator, calculator, menu, calculus, I'm going to make an integral from negative 2 to 3, and I have two parentheses, one is 3 minus x, um, outside times another parentheses, that is x minus x squared plus 6, and I close my parentheses there, and I move to the differential and I get this little x, but before I need to multiply times pi, times 2 pi, so this is 2 times pi, times the integral, when I hit enter my integral is 625 pi over 6, so this is 625 pi over 6 cubic units. So this is my answer. This is using the shell method. Now let's come back and try to solve it by using the disk method or the dishwasher. So I'm going to make this clear. I don't need this anymore but I still need this. So at any moment, I'm gonna make like a little disk. And this disk has a radius over here, a big radius and a little radius. Let me do it a different way. So what if I make this? This is like a disk. Okay, this is the radius, the big radius, and this is the little radius. So basically, if we see from this point of view, we have something like this. At any moment, I have a little disk. So this is the little r, while this is the big r. So the important thing here is that we have two different... Um, the different functions here. We're gonna we're gonna go from here. this is a function. This is the other function. So what we're gonna do is first set up the problem correctly. Um, and I'm gonna make this. When I make this this way, the thickness goes this way. But now. This thickness is not dx, it's dy. So I'm integrating in this direction. So the big R from this part and above, okay, is this function minus this other function. However, from this point and below, I have like two different functions in one. This is one function and this is the other function. And let me explain you explain you why. Because we have y equals x. So it doesn't matter if I use y or x in this case. But in this case I have y equals x squared plus six uh, minus six. So if I want to know what is x, so this is y plus x equals x squared. So I'm going to apply this square root and I apply this square root, but this is plus and minus. So x equals plus and minus square root of y plus x. So in this case, this part is x equals square root 
y plus x. But in this part, x equals negative y plus 6. So now my big R that is from here to here is 3 minus negative y plus 6. So this becomes positive, right? So at any moment, this R this r is going to be 3 minus the square root y plus 6. So look, they look very similar, but one is negative, the other is positive. So what I'm going to do now is evaluate this integral in my next page. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to evaluate two different integrals. One is from negative 2 to 3 plus another integral from negative 6 to negative 2. Okay, what's that? Because I'm going to clean this up totally. So I'm going to make this integral from negative 2 to 3. So I'm going to make this this area because because of these disks okay I'm gonna make this disk okay all these disks where this big R minus this little r and this big R is always x minus or 3 minus x minus this this r okay so let me do it better so this big r this case is this r equals 3 minus x but this little r is 3 minus um, the square root y plus 6 so this these are my r's for the first integral what is from negative 2 to 3 so in my next page is from negative 2 to 3 this is pi because I'm talking about a disk so my big r is 3 minus x this is square, I need a bracket over here, minus the little r there is 3 minus square root y plus 6 this is square also, I need a bracket and this dy so this x I cannot use it so I need to change into y so my first integral so far is negative 2 to 3 pi bracket 3 minus x squared minus 3 minus square root y plus 6 square dy plus the next integral that is from negative 6 to negative 2 okay let's establish this these r's so this big r you remember this part of the function is negative square root y plus 6 and this part of the function is square root y plus 6 so my big r is my big r is 3 minus negative square root y plus 6 while the little r is 3 minus square root y plus 6 so this becomes positive right this is negative now i need to move over here so this is pi again because I'm talking about disks bracket this is 3 plus the square root y plus 6 this goes to square minus 3 minus the square root y plus 6 this goes to square close the brackets and this dx so this expression goes in my calculator 
So I'm gonna bring my calculator and I need to I, I'm gonna move this this way to see what I'm writing. So the first integral is also you remember this number is really a y because y equals x so I'm gonna I'm gonna change this x for a y. So then I'm gonna make calculus integral from negative 2 to 3 I can write this pi over here this pi times uh, my big R is a parenthesis the big R is okay this parenthesis is because I multiply in pi times something inside any other another parenthesis because my my big R is 3 minus y so this is 3 minus y and close my parentheses and this goes to square minus the little r my little r is 3 minus the square root so this is another parentheses 3 minus the square root and this is uh, y plus 6 y plus 6 I close, I move over here, I close my parentheses, and this goes to square also. And I'm talking about, well, I need to close this parentheses, and I'm talking about y. So this is my first, my first integral, okay? But I need to add another one. So plus, well, this is not exactly what I need, this is plus the next integral the next integral is calculus integral you remember this is from negative 6 to negative 2 I'm talking about y again times another parenthesis uh, inside this parenthesis is 3 minus um, this is well you remember this is positive right so this is positive because this positive so plus the square root y plus 6 I move there close it and I square it minus another parenthesis this is 3 minus the same square root y plus 6 I move over there, I close it, I square it, I close it again, and I'm talking about y. So I have all my integrals, just be careful there. And this is the same answer, 625 pi over 6. So this is, the volume is 625 pi over 6. So it doesn't matter what, what's the method in this case, just to be careful that in this part I have one function over here minus this function to get the r's and this part is also a little different.